Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about solving rational inequalities. We have defined rational inequality as an inequality that involves rational expressions. These are the steps in solving rational inequalities. First, we write the inequality as a single function on one side of the inequality symbol and zero on the other side. Second, determine over what intervals the fraction takes on positive and negative values. Third, locate the x values for which the rational expression is zero or undefined. Factoring the numerator and denominator is a useful strategy. Fourth, mark the numbers found in step 3 on a number line. Use a shaded circle to indicate that the value included in the solution set and the hollow circle to indicate that the value is excluded. These numbers partition the number line into intervals. Fifth, select a test point within the interior of each interval in step 4. The sign of the expression at this test point is also the sign of the rational expression at each exterior point in the aforementioned interval. And finally, summarize the intervals containing the solutions. To better understand these steps, let us have some examples. Solve the rational inequality x plus 1 over x minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. The first thing to do is to determine the zeros of the numerator and the denominator. To find the zeros, simply equate the numerator and the denominator to 0 and find the value of x. For the zero of the numerator, we will equate x plus 1 to 0 and solve for the value of x. Therefore, we will have here x equals negative 1. For the denominator, we will be doing the same thing. We will have x minus 5 equals 0 and solve for the value of x. Here, the value of x is 5. After determining the zeros, use these values to determine the intervals on the number line. Therefore, we will be using negative 1 and positive 5. Since we have two zeros, the number line will have three intervals. Namely, numbers less than negative 1, numbers from negative 1 to 5, and numbers greater than 5. From these intervals, get a testing point. For example, in this interval, we will be getting negative 3. In the second interval, we will have 1. And for the third interval, we will have 7. Substitute these values to our given rational inequality and determine which among them will satisfy the given. So for example, for negative 3, remember that our given rational inequality is x plus 1 over x minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. If we will substitute negative 3 to the x of our given, then we will have negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. Simplifying this, we're going to have negative 2 over negative 8 is less than or equal to 0. Negative 2 divided by negative 8 is equal to positive 1 fourth is less than or equal to 0. 
notice that this statement is false because one-fourth is greater than zero. This time, we will be using positive one. We will substitute positive one to our given rational inequality. If x is equal to one, then our rational inequality will become 1 plus 1 over 1 minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. Simplifying this, we will have 2 over negative 4 is less than or equal to 0. And when we simplify 2 over negative 4, we will have negative 1 half is less than or equal to 0. Notice that this statement is true because all negative numbers is less than 0. Finally, do the same thing to our last testing point. If x is equal to 7, then our rational inequality will become 7 plus 1 over 7 minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. 7 plus 1 equals 8 over 7 minus 5 equals 2 is less than or equal to 0. Simplifying 8 divided by 2 will give us 4 is less than or equal to 0. Looking at this statement, we know that this is false because 4 is greater than 0. From here, we can now say that the solution are the numbers from negative 1 to positive 5. Therefore, our rational inequality is being satisfied by the values on the second interval. However, note that 5 is not included in the solution set because it will make our denominator equal to zero. We will write our answer in this notation. X is greater than or equal to negative one, but less than five. This is read as X is greater than or equal to negative one, but less than five means that the values of x are between negative 1 and positive 5. And negative 1 is included. That is why we have equal sign here and we don't have equal sign here. So therefore, this is our final answer. Let us have another example. Solve the rational inequality x squared plus 4x plus 3 over x minus 1 is greater than 0. Again, determine first the zeros of the numerator and the denominator. But before that, let us factor the numerator before determining the zeros. Remember that the factors of x squared plus 4x plus 3 are x plus 3 and x plus 1. Let us equate both factors by 0. So we will have x plus 3 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. Next, solve for x. Here, x is equal to negative 3 and here, x is equal to negative 1. Therefore, the zeros of the numerator are negative 3 and negative 1. The zero of the denominator is x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals 1. After determining the zeros, we will be using these values to determine the intervals in the number line. Since we have three zeros, namely negative 3, negative 1, and 1, the number line has four intervals. We have the numbers less than negative 3, 
the numbers from negative 3 to negative 1, the numbers from negative 1 to positive 1, and the numbers greater than 1. Select a testing point from each interval. Say we have for the first interval negative 5, for the second interval negative 2, for the third interval 0, and for the fourth interval 3. Just like what we did on our first example, we will substitute these values to our given rational inequality and determine which among them will satisfy the given. Remember that our given is x squared plus 4x plus 3 over x minus 1 is greater than 0. For the first testing point, if x is equal to negative 5, then our given will become negative 5 squared plus 4 times negative 5 plus 3 all over negative 5 minus 1 is greater than 0. Simplifying this, we will have 25 minus 20 plus 3 all over negative 6 is greater than 0. 25 minus 20 is equal to 5 plus 3 equals 8. So we will have 8 over negative 6 is greater than 0. Simplifying this, we will have 4 or negative 4 over 3 is greater than 0. Notice that this statement is false because negative number is less than zero. Let us try our second testing point which is negative two. If x is equal to negative two then our rational inequality will become negative two quantity squared plus four times negative two plus three all over negative 2 minus 1 is greater than 0. Simplifying this, we will have 4 minus 8 plus 3 over negative 3 is greater than 0. Then we will have 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1 over negative 3 is greater than 0. Simplifying this, we will have 1 third is greater than 0. Notice that this statement is true because positive is greater than 0. For the next interval, we will be using 0. If x is equal to 0, then our rational inequality will become 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 3 all over 0 minus 1 is greater than 0. 0 squared is 0. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 3 over negative 1 is greater than 0. Simplifying this, we will have 0 plus 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3 over negative 1. 3 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 3 greater than 0. However, negative is not greater than 0. So therefore, this is false. Finally, for our fourth testing point, if x is equal to 3, then our rational inequality will become 3 squared plus 4 times 3 plus 3 all over 3 minus 1 is greater than 0. 3 squared is 9. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 all over 2 is greater than 0. 
9 plus 12 is 21 plus 3 is 24. 24 over 2 is greater than 0. 24 divided by 2 is 12, greater than 0. And note that this statement is true. Since the statement or our given rational inequality is true on these intervals, specifically from negative 3 to negative 1, and numbers which are greater than 1, then how are we going to write our solution set? In writing our solution set, note the intervals where our rational inequality became true. On this interval, our rational inequality became false when x equals negative 5. On this interval, our inequality became true when x equals negative 2. On this interval, our inequality became false. And finally, on this interval, our inequality became true. Therefore, our solution set for the rational inequality would be x is greater than negative 3 but less than negative 1 union with x greater than negative 3. Remember that this interval are the numbers between negative 3 and negative 1. And these numbers are greater than 3. So therefore, this is our final answer. I hope that you understood the lesson. And for the next video, we will discuss about the introduction of rational functions. Thank you so much and see you on the next discussion.